Hey guys, welcome back for another carving video. As you can see, we got a foot of snow on the ground. Welcome to winter in Maine. But uh, today we're gonna be carving a snapping turtle. I've never carved a turtle, so I'm really excited for this project. Okay, so we got our little feet done. We're gonna work on our face a little bit and get it generally shaved out with the chainsaw and then we'll jump into the hand tools. Um, and then he's really coming along. I spent a while on the feet and we still have a little bit more refining to do, round them up, they're a little square right now. Um, then we'll do his spikes on his tail and we're getting there. So we are back at it with the turtle carving. I have our little turtle on the side here. We're gonna go ahead and shorten his base. I just didn't do that at the beginning because I figured I might as well use as much material as I need and then we'll shorten the base after that because I didn't want the rock to end up too skinny that he's gonna be like sunbathing on. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and shorten that. That's gonna make him a lot easier to move. And um, I don't know if this is going to be a pickup or shipping carving yet, but by removing this bottom half here, I'm gonna take a bunch of the weight off it in case it is a uh, carving that needs to be shipped because these carvings weigh a lot more than you might think, especially with the pine. Um, I couldn't imagine carving like oak or ash, like those carvings would be so heavy, like so heavy. This guy's gonna probably end up being around, I don't know, 40 pounds or something like that. And that's after I take that huge chunk off. So I'm gonna grab the saws, grab the gas, and we'll start working on a rock. And then we'll uh, do some little detail work on the turtle, give him some cute scales, work on the shell. And then uh, just kind of do some fine tuning and we'll be ready for finished work next week. I haven't uh, sharpened that 20 inch chain for a while, but nothing like fresh chips. Let's keep going. Okay, let's make this look a bit more like a rock. Because it doesn't look like a rock right now. So I just picked up some gray stain and we're going to go ahead and stain the rock that the turtle is on and then um, at some point tomorrow we'll think about coloring the actual turtle. So I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to stain a rock.
So it has been, it has been months. <laughs> it has been months since I started this turtle project, but I am driving south to my family in Massachusetts and that's where the owner of this turtle is. So I am bringing him down for her. So the turtle is finally going home. So it's time to show you the finished turtle. Mm -hmm. 